Well, it's going to be a chilly day. We're going to be seeing our high temperature close to this temperature right now. 30 degrees outside right now. Our high today about 31. Winds out of the west northwest at 15 miles per hour, and we will see some stronger gusty winds. So that's why wind chill is a factor today. Feels like 19 degrees outside. So that's why don't skip the winter coat. You need the hat and the gloves too, especially if you're going to be staying outside for a long time. As we look at the big picture, at least we don't have any precipitation for today. Most of the nation is pretty dry. You can see here along the east coast, still a little bit of shower activity from a cold front that moved through, but otherwise we're all pretty dry. Could see a few flurries moving through our area. There's lake effect flurries. You can see the northwest part of the state having a few flurries, but for the most part, no one's going to see any accumulation, of course, because it's just scattered, and we're going to be seeing the skies clear up more. We'll see more sunshine, but you can already see right now on the radar that we have a wind gust up about 15 miles per hour, and as I said, some of those gusts are going to get up to 20, and in the next couple of days, up to 30 miles per hour. So let's look at future wind gusts here. We see around 10 this morning, we're going to have wind gusts up to 20, about 20 two miles per hour throughout the afternoon. Some of the gusts have died down, but they pick right back up by two o'clock tomorrow. Here we are close to 30 mile per hour gusty wind. So we're going to see gusts between 20 and up to 30 miles per hour for tomorrow. And the wind gusts will stay with us a little bit even into Friday as we see gusts up to about 25 miles per hour. That's ahead of a frontal system that's going to bring us the chance of some rain. So this high pressure system, even though it's in the plain states, it's kind of our dominating feature. The cold front moved through yesterday that uh, really brought nothing. We just have a few extra clouds. Now that high is going to move on in, clear up the skies a little bit. So for tonight, clear skies and the, as the winds die down, we're going to see some cold temperatures. But that high is going to move on over. We'll start to see a southerly flow. Even though tomorrow the temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer, we're going to start to see a southerly flow, but it's a strong wind, and so it's not going to warm us up very much, and it's not going to feel warm either outside. This is the frontal system that's going to pass on through to give us a chance of some rain as we move into Christmas. But we're also going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 50. So we're going to see a big warming trend after today's cold. So Skycast, you can see how things have cleared up and we see just a mix of clouds and sun. Even tomorrow, more clouds and peeking through some of the sunshine. The clouds look heavier, but we'll see some sun through that. So basically some dry weather until that rain begins to move in. Average high 36, the average low 22. We're going to be below average for today because our high only 31. Maybe a morning flurry, but otherwise partly cloudy skies and we'll continue to see clearing. The winds die down tonight out of the west. We'll see clear skies, so that means we drop down to 20. 23 degrees, so a cold night. Then tomorrow, still strong gusty winds, so it'll be breezy, but we'll see partly sunny skies and a little bit warmer, 10 degrees warmer, a high 42. But speaking of temperatures, as we look to the seven day extended forecast, they just keep warming up. Yep, winter officially arrived. Today's the first full day, but by Christmas Day, our high temperature 56 degrees. And with that, we see extra clouds and the chance of rain moving in as we move towards the end of the week. So it's not going to be a white Christmas. It could be a rainy Christmas for us. Kind of a bah humbug on that. Uh, I agree with that one. <laughs> I don't like that at all. All right, thank you. Coming up in Consumer News, a hair product line by Procter & Gamble is being recalled. And the pandemic has played havoc with so many things. Now, cream cheese is in short supply. We'll take a look 